Hi, this is Dennis with Cybercraft. Today we'll be examining the ISACA course materials for CISA. We'll be looking at the question, answers, and explanation database and the online review manual. So let's jump right in and see what we get when we get these materials. This is the question, answers, and explanation database. If you're used to other online learning platforms, this may look familiar. It's basically uh, built by Skillable and it's designed to store all the practice questions for the CISA certification. So here we see a study plan and this is really going to explain how we want to go through these steps. Since these are just practice questions, this is pretty self-explanatory. It just tells you to go through the practice quest, uh, sets. But the nice thing about this is you can set a goal date. So we can say maybe we want to get our exam finished by January 17th, 2024. We can set that deadline. It's going to tell us how many days we have into that date and then it's going to narrow that down or, or show us a customized plan to help get us there in that time frame. That could be incredibly helpful. Uh, you have that adaptive plan here as well. So you can basically, you have two different ways to go through your course materials and help structure that for you to keep you on task. Now the main portion of this would be the practice questions. So the practice questions would be located here in the practice section. And here we can go we can customize this however we want. We can customize this by different uh, types of questions. We have a thousand questions in here. We could choose the number of questions we want to take in our session. We could choose the type or the difficulty of the questions. We can say which uh, moderate questions or difficult questions or expert questions we want to have for each of the domains in CISA. So you could format it by domain, you could format it by difficulty. You can time yourself for a certain duration, or you can do what's known as exam mode, which is gonna only allow you to review the materials after you complete all the questions, while practice or study mode lets you review the questions after each question itself. So you take a question, you review that question. That's really good if you're trying to just study the questions. But if you're trying to simulate a real exam, you might wanna do exam mode where you take the test, you focus on the questions first, Afterwards, you're shown if you got them right or wrong. We also have two tests here, two full practice exams that are timed just like the real CISA exam. So that can be very helpful to get you used to the types of questions and used to the time frame, the time in which you'll have to answer those questions on test day. Now from the study plan, we could go into our practice sets. So here we go. We have a practice set here, <clears throat> 30 questions. The designated time for this is about 30, 30, sec or 30 minutes to 60 minutes, so 30 minutes to an hour. And here we go, we're gonna answer some of these questions here. It's gonna give us feedback as we go through. So for example, in developing risk management program, what's the first activity? So if we you know, answer this question, maybe we get it right, maybe we get it wrong, it's gonna give us feedback on what we did right, what we did wrong. It's gonna tell us what each of these mean so if we weren't sure what a threat assessment was, we're going to get a re uh, or a little refresher about that. And it's going to tell us where we can find that information. Say we need to study that a little better. We can see this, the domain, the subdomain, and then the specific area where we would find that. So that's really helpful. And you can go through for each of these. You can even choose to turn off reviewing the answer. And then it would basically switch it to that exam mode that I mentioned earlier. We turn that back on. You can do this uh, anytime. You got to slide it. Right here we get this wrong, and it's going to give us feedback on well what we did right, what we did wrong in the question with the correct answer highlighted. So that's great. What are some of the other tools we have in here? Well, we have games. We have flashcards. The games here are pretty standard, uh, skillable games. We do have like Card Hunter, uh, Elimination. We could select a category here, basically a domain. And we could even filter that by subcategory. So with this, say we, we select something, we get it incorrect. Basically, we're going to give a, uh, <laughs> a period of, we're going to have a, a number of lives. And in this one, we don't have, we have one life and we have to just go through and try and get the best streak. So. If we don't get a, a streak, we don't a, get a score. So that's elimination. So it kind of puts the pressure on you to answer your answers correctly. Games like Card Hunter, 
or uh, Card Hunter 1 and 2. They help you by basically mix and matching. So we can mix and match these terms with these definitions. And we get that right. We have three lives here, and we're trying to get a high score. That's just another nice way to mix up the flashcards. I think they're pretty helpful. If you like playing games, like playing computer games, you probably enjoy these quite a bit. Now, you have regular flashcards as well. We go through, try and define that in our own head, and then we click this. It's going to flip it, and it's going to ask if we got it right. We can say, oh, we got it right, we got it wrong. We say yes, we can go on to the next one, or, or if we say no, even, you know, it's going to bring us on to the next one and go through the list. And we can filter this just like we were filtering with uh, a lot of the other ones. So, you know, we could do this by only unanswered, incorrect, or correct. Say we want to go back and do the ones that we got incorrect. If we answered no, then we can go through and re-review those. And you could also search here. You have a search function to search different terms, different questions. So it's a pretty comprehensive test prep solution. It's not just a few practice exams. It's really all-encompassing, and it's designed to get you ready for the real test, which is fantastic. So I do recommend this qa &E platform. It's very well done. It's very polished. I haven't seen any problems with it. Um, so if you're looking for a good solution, this one's it. Now let's take a look at the review manual. So this is the CESA review manual. This is the digital version. And there's digital and physical copies. Some people prefer physical copies. Some people prefer a digital version. When you get the digital version, you get it through this e-reader. And it has a little more functionality than just a PDF, which is very nice. So basically, you have this progress bar at the bottom. And the progress bar allows you to go to different domains, different sections. As we go through here, and you can scroll up and down within those sections to read the terms. You have an e-reader if you want to listen to the terms. So we have an e-reader here. Now, if you don't like that voice, you can change that. This is the just default Microsoft. We can go to uh, Microsoft Zero if we want. Operations. 4.0 introduction. Now, if you don't like the speed, you can also adjust the speed. So if we want to make that, you know, 1.5, maybe they, this, the AI is talking a little too slow. Introduction. IT service management practices are important to provide assurance to users and to manage them. So it's a pretty decent functional uh, playback feature. You can go all the way up to times four speed. I know some of my students can listen that, that fast and understand it. I'm not one of those, <laughs> but good on you if you can. Nice thing about this one, we have... You can make flashcards here on the fly very easily. Okay, so if we want to know, you know, CPU or key components of a computer, we just highlight this, and here uh, we get a submenu and create a flashcard here. Create a flashcard. We can even add it to different decks that we create. Okay, and we can just type computer components if we want. Okay. And I just dynamically created a deck there. I added it to the deck, saved. Now I create a flashcard. I go to my flashcards, I see deck one. I have computer components. That's gonna navigate directly to the section in the review guide when I click this. So that's really nice. You can make as many flashcards as you want. You can make as many decks as you want. So if you wanna be very organized about your notes, you can do it that way. We can also highlight things. So, you know, maybe we want to hacks, highlight RAM. I'm going to review RAM. Highlight that. You have four different colors. Now it's going to be highlighted every time you come in to review this. And you can even copy content here if you want or create a citation. And then we can uh, refer back to that citation if we want. And you can use different citation sections and you can copy those and use them elsewhere. So a lot of great functionality here. It's a really nice uh, e-reader. You can bookmark certain sections too. You could bookmark this, you know, go keep going. Bookmark this section. And then we're getting little pop-ups here saying that we've created a bookmark. 
And then we can go back and refer to those bookmarks if we want. So we have our bookmarks there. Up at the top right, we click on our bookmark. I got, let me scroll down first because we're at the same spot as our bookmark. But if we go to our bookmark there, it goes right back to that page, to that section. There's lots of different ways you can highlight different sections, more so than just a, a PDF. So that's really good. We also have a search function here. You can search for different terms. And then you can change, of course, the size of the font. And you know, we can make the font a lot bigger if we want. We can make the font smaller. Uh, so anything we want, we can change our different types of themes. We could put a night theme on here if you don't like staring at a, a white screen. I don't blame you. And you can change the font. Basically, you can make a lot of customization options. So it's a really, it's a nice uh, set of functionality that we get with the e-reader, not just the um, the PDF itself and if you need to you could print pages and download for offline so if you want to have that option without having an internet connection you can do that as well so that's very helpful you can even share notes if you have a, a group so if you're taking the class as a group you can share notes amongst your each other and there's additional functionality accessibility support here if you ever have any problems there's uh, support tickets here if you want or you could just if you take a class through cybercraft we'll help you out too but yeah really nice e-reader i mean it is an e-reader so there's not a whole lot to say but i think it has a lot more functionality than just giving you a pdf so that's really good and at the end of each section you do get a little practice set of questions so that's really good so here we have a set of practice questions and a set of practice and a set of answers for those so that's really helpful and there's external links here too, you know, links about COVID here. I mean, this is domain four, I believe. No, domain five. Um, oh yeah, we were at the very end of domain four there. So talking about resilience, we had a, a couple different links there to COVID and some external resources. But yeah, excellent re-reader. And when you couple this with the QA and E section, you have a, a pretty robust platform to help your studies. Now, when you sign up for a Cybercraft course, you get both the QA and E platform and the review manual. You get either a digital or a hard copy of the review manual. So if you're looking for an all-encompassing solution, you know, we here at Cybercraft, we use the official ISACA course materials, and that's available to you. Everything you see in this video, you get with our course too. But I hope this is helpful to give you an overview of what you get with these resources. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day.